Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video looking and picking one of our many signals from our membership site here. So our members basically click into the members area and they choose whether they want to go long or short. Uh, we have signals both long and short on weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. I've gone for shorts today um, just to hedge a little bit. We've had a good couple of bullish days. Uh, try to look for a week to, weaker uh, move uh, and look for a shorter term short. So I'll, in the short trades, we just click on the image and it downloads the spreadsheet. So a quick look at the spreadsheet. So I've gone for the 60 minute time frame today. LEN on the 60 minute time frame has come up on the scanner results for today's signal. So let's have a look at the chart. So I'm using the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader, but we do have it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts. Let's firstly just go to those members that have got the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Uh, very, very simple to isolate this, this uh, wave count here. The high here around about uh, April the 5th. And, and then we've had the, wave, the, the uh, Elliott Wave Indicator Suite automatically um, puts on the Elliott wave count. So we've had the wave one, the two, the three, and then the wave four has been quite shallow, but it's pulled back into the green zone now. Um, so let's just zoom in on that. Okay. So first of all, before we go into that, just go through the filters uh, for the membership site for the signals. One of the filters is the 535 oscillator down here, uh, and that's pulled back between just between 90 and 140%. So it could go a little bit higher. Um, the stochastic's pulled back against an overall bearish trend. You can see by the yellow dots there in the stochastic. It's pulled back and crossed over in the oversold, overbought zone, sorry. A couple of times now, we're looking for that to turn down. So despite the last two really bullish days in the market, this has just had a very sedentary pullback on the way four. It's not been massive. It's pulled back into the green zone. And this is a probability zone that's part of our earlier wave indicator suite. And that's an 85% probability. If it finds resistance there, it's going to go down and make the new fifth wave low down here in our automated target zone in blue around about 55.20. So there are opportunities in a bullish market for stocks that really don't want to go and all we all we take is a sustained pullback during one day and th this could catch fire so uh, what we're looking for are these potential shorts setting them up being conservative on entry our entry strategy is usually below the 6-4 moving average low which is part of our indicator sweep um, but I've gone up a bit more conservative below this pivot point here uh, so this gives me uh, a really good move down. We're breaking this pivot point and it should carry on. We're below the whole $57 mark, so a $56.97 entry. Stop loss above the wave four here at about $58.08. And then the target is around $55.20. So we see we've got a, a decent risk reward there of 1 to 1.6. Uh, we're not being overly aggressive. We're just looking for a potential short term um, bearish trade uh, that um, that we've got hedging against all of our sort of uh, long trades at the moment. Now, this still could go higher and form a new wave for high here. So we have to adjust. That's why I've gone conservative with the entry here, because if it does break this this support zone here, we probably will go uh, probably will go down. But this is why I've gone conservative because we could pull back up to round about this sort of level here, 58.50, something like that. So let's see how today goes. If we firstly clear the 6.4 moving average low and then go through $57, we've got a really good entry short here on LEN on the 60 minute. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.